What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special Mexican episode of Fun Bros Food. So most people have had tacos, burritos, maybe enchiladas, and I know a lot of people out there are just like me where we've had a lot of Mexican food, but we've never been to a Mexican steakhouse before. And you know we could not do this without the help of our DJ friend, DJ Sosa. What up, what up? I'm gonna be taking you guys on a tour of the best Northern Mexican steakhouse, Asadero Sinaloa. Vamos a comer! Okay, you guys, the food has arrived here at the Asadero Sinaloa Mexican Steakhouse, and believe me, this is much better than Outback or Roos Chris right now. Look, my family's from Argentina. The steak is a very big part of the culture, as it is in Northern Mexico. As you can see here, we got platters of goodness laid yes. out on our table, man. Platters of Northern Mexican goodness. Yes. We got three different steaks in front of us right now. I am looking at the Angus Asada, so it's like carne asada, but it's got the Angus branding on it. So this salad steak as well, aside from being found called carne asada, is, they have a different name for it as well, it's called arrachera. <laughs> I got the medium rare ribeye. So you know, here at Steakhouses, typically we like to do medium rare on our steaks, just because you get that flavor from the grill, and they're, they're doing it on open flame here. Some of the jalapenos, and I got a little bit of cactus under there as well. Whoa, whoa, hold up. You said cactus. Cactus, that's right. The cactus looks like this, in case you don't know. It kind of looks like a pepper. Let's be clear here, it has the spikes taken out. Hello. You don't have to worry about hurting yourself eating this, all right? Go. This is a uh, cactus asada. Okay. Hey, yeah, cactus asada. <laughs> uh. huh? Grilled cactus has a flavor unlike anything I've ever had before in my Ooh. life. It was almost like a green bean with like a lime stuck inside. That's a great description of what we just <laughs> ate. I got the New York strip steak called the Penicillo. That's right, it's the Tennessee. We have to note that one of these trimmings was a gigantic sausage. Yes. A chorizo sausage, right? Chorizo sausage, yep. We're about to make steak tortillas, guys. Yeah. DIY steak tortillas. Oh, it is delicious, man. Son, how'd you turn it into the grilled flip stuff it, burrito? Just take it, flip it. Eat that, man. Fill it, flip it, eat it. All right. I'm drinking a drink I have never had before. This is... Cebada. Cebada. It's similar to horchata, but this is using barley cinnamon. I got lemonade, but it's not just any lemonade. It got chia seeds in it. And the chia seeds... Yeah, that makes it better. All right, we got the waitress, Angelica, here. Can you please explain to me what these side dishes are that we got? Doritos. We call them Toritos. They're uh, peppers with cheese inside and bacon. bacon. What can you tell <laughs> us about this, man? What I can tell you is that it's delicious. Look at how, how artisanal this is. It looks like little nigiris, little sushi. Yeah. That's fire. You know why it's good? Because usually the other jalapeno poppers you have, they're fried with that little crust on it. This has got no crust, man. That this is the cactus joint. This is just meat right here, garnished with onion, laid on top of a cactus. I I'm gonna need Angelica to help us out with this. We 
when you bite into the cactus, it's kind of like a steak in itself. It has a lot of like bounce to it. On the oh, other end here, we okay. have gordi buena. And so basically, meat stacked on top of melted cheese, on top of a, a fluffier flour tortilla. So that's Hence funny. the name gordi, a little bit, you know, bigger. Better. Yo, they're calling it like fat chubby bread. <laughs> fat bread. There you it's go. fat bread. Bro. I think I've eaten way too much today, but we're going to make it happen. Oh my God. To be honest, it's just really good steak flavor. You get a little bit of that cheese in there. Mm -hmm. This is the toriado, and this is actually laid uh, meat laid on top of a Anaheim pepper. Okay. So you're gonna get a little bit of that spice in there. You could wrap it up like a burrito as well. It's almost it's almost like begging you to just fold it up and eat it. So Anaheim pepper is just a a, a little bit longer of a of a pepper, and it's a little bit less spicy than the than the jalapeno pepper. Okay. Like we said, they have so many different salsas here. Oh my gosh! Oh my. I heard that's hot, bro. You're putting a lot on. I don't care. I'm not. You scared. guys are eating. I'm going in. Wow. I've eaten many things mm -hmm. that I've never had before, and they've all been good, and I've never had that before. Oh, that was a pepper burrito. All right, so that wraps up our meal here at Asadero Sinaloa. I grew up in America going to steakhouses, but nothing's quite like the way Spanish people do steaks. This is this is what you would expect when you go, you know, you take a trip to Mexico and you and you stay with one of your homies at their family's house. You know, they're they're bringing out all these traditional foods. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Number one, in the comment section below, make sure you let us know what you know about Mexican steakhouses or South American steakhouses. And number two, down below, let us know if there's any other regional cuisine coming from Mexico or South America that you think we should try. And number three, make sure you like and comment and share this video with any friends that you think would like this style of food. Thank you, DJ Sosa, for taking us through this journey. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, everybody, thank you for watching that video. That was a lot of food, but trust me, it did get eaten. And yo, thank you, DJ Sosa, for being here. You actually helped uh, work on some of our sets back home. You kind of helped build some stuff, and why don't you tell the people what you do? First of all, I want to thank you guys for having me out. This was a blast. But if you want to know a little bit more about what I do, definitely check the links below. I mean, I'm involved in a lot of good stuff out here in the city of Seattle, man. Thank you for watching this video. You guys got to check this spot out. We'll leave the link down below. Until next time, we out. Peace. Thank you guys for coming. Come on by. This is Asadero Sinal.